Hello students, this is Dr. Nita Raj, your chemistry mentor, welcoming you for another session in electrochemistry. Today we shall see what are fuel cells and specifically we are going to see about the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. Okay. By the way, what are fuel cells? See, these are the cells which convert the chemical energy of fuel directly into electrical energy. Okay. So they are called as a fuel cells. Actually, in these fuel cells, the fuels like hydrogen. carbon monoxide, methane, the propane, etc. are used to generate the electrical energy. Okay, So actually in these fuel cells, the fuels are continuously supplied and the products are continuously removed. Okay, Large number of uh, fuel cells are available. Among these, the most common one is the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and today we are going to see about it. Okay? Actually, this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is otherwise uh, called as Bacon cell. E A C O N Bacon cell. Since because it was designed by the scientist Bacon, okay, in the year 1959. Therefore, it is also called as a Bacon cell. It is a potential source of electrical energy because it was used as a primary source of electrical energy in, in the Apollo space program of ESA. Actually, I have shown a simple picture of this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. And let us see how it is constructed, okay? See, this cell consists of two porous carbon electrodes. Actually, these are the two uh, porous carbon electrodes. Porous means it will be having a small pores and these two electrodes are made up of a, a carbon, okay? It is impregnated with a suitable catalyst such as platinum, silver, cobalt oxide, okay? See, this uh, porous uh, carbon electrodes are impregnated with a suitable catalyst like uh, platinum or the silver sometimes it may be impregnated with platinum or it may be impregnated with silver puff or with silver or a cobalt oxide okay in between these two electrodes we have the electrolyte and the electrolyte is nothing but it's the aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide so either the aqueous solution of uh, potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide acts as the electrolyte and this is uh, this two, uh, the space between these two electrodes is filled with a concentrated solution of KOH or NaOH, okay? And this serves as the electrolyte, right? See here, hydrogen gas and oxygen gases are bubbled in the electrolyte through porous carbon electrodes, okay? See here, through this pathway, hydrogen is bubbled and through this, this oxygen is bubbled and it is bubbled into this electrolyte through this uh, porous carbon electrodes, okay? See here, the cell operates efficiently in the temperature range of 343 Kelvin to 413 Kelvin mean from 70 degrees centigrade to 140 degrees centigrade and this uh, provides a potential of about 0.9 volts. Okay. See. Now let us uh, move into the important one that is the working of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. See here, uh, hydrogen and oxygen are continuously fed into the cell as shown here under the pressure of about 50 atmospheric pressure. See these two gases uh, diffuses uh, through this electrode pores and so does the electrolytic solution also. Okay. See when hydrogen gas is allowed to pass through this anodic compartment, uh, here this hydrogen gas undergoes oxidation. Okay. It's, it, it, uh, it, uh, it is oxidized, this hydrogen gas is oxidized when it is allowed to pass through this anodic compartment. So let us see what is happening in the anode okay, during uh, working. right? So before seeing the anodic uh, reaction first let us see what is happening in the uh, electrolyte see here this potassium hydroxide it dissociates into see 2k uh, 2koh it dissociates into 2k plus plus 2oh minus okay this is what uh, happening in electrolyte okay now let us see what is happening in the anodic compartment actually when you are passing hydrogen through this anode this hydrogen uh, will be undergoing oxidation mean it will be releasing two electrons when it releases two electrons this hydrogen uh, gains a positive two positive charges okay so now since it is releasing two electrons it is gaining two positive charges this two h plus ion it will not remain as such rather this accepts this oh minus ions okay so two h plus plus two oh minus it gives water okay two molecules of water so let us write the overall reaction taking place in the anodic compartment 
see here what are the things in common in the opposite side 2 h plus 2 h plus they are in common so we can cancel that check anything else in common nothing is it not so we can write the overall reaction now h2 plus 2 oh minus gives 2 h2o plus 2 electrons okay now we are supposed to multiply the whole equation by 2 okay so let us multiply this whole equation by 2 when you are multiplying this whole equation by 2 this equation becomes 2 h2 plus 4 oh minus gives 4 h2o plus 4 electrons okay this is what happening in the anodic compartment now let us see what is uh, happening in the cathodic compartment when you are passing oxygen through this cathodic compartment this oxygen in the presence of water molecule it will be accepting the four electrons furnished by this uh, anode okay so what is happening here let us write what is happening in the cathodic compartment in the cathode this oxygen in the presence of uh, two molecules of water will be accepting the four electrons it, it gives four OH minus okay now we are going to uh, write the overall reaction taking place in the anode and the cathode that is uh, we are going to see the overall reaction that is taking place during this uh, discharging or the reaction taking place when this hydrogen and oxygen are passed okay so overall reaction so this is the anodic reaction and this is the cathodic reaction right now let us check what is the overall reaction right so let us write the overall reaction now check what are the things in common in both the sides this is anodic reaction and this is cathodic reaction okay this is the anodic overall anodic reaction this is the overall anodic reaction right now check which one uh, what are the things in common in both the sides four electrons four electrons is it not so let us cancel that cancel it and then what else four oh minus four oh minus is it not so cancel it okay now what else in common here we are having water molecule here also we are having water molecule but we are having two molecules here but here four molecules so just uh, we'll uh, we'll cancel this alone okay here it will it will be uh, converted to 2 ok so nothing else in common ok now, now we shall write the overall reaction for taking place in the fuel cell 2 hydrogen is it not 2 hydrogen then oxygen plus oxygen gives 2 molecules of water ok so this is the uh, reaction the overall reaction taking place in a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell ok as I told you earlier this uh, will be able to produce 0.9 volts of uh, current and then uh, here we are getting water this water will be getting vaporized and we should condense it and it can be used as a pure water by the astronaut so this is the byproduct we are obtaining uh, when the fuel cell is working ok now we shall see the applications of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell okay see this hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are used as an auxiliary source in space vehicles submarines and military vehicles okay in uh, space vehicles submarines and military vehicles this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is used as a auxiliary source of energy okay and this uh, fuel battery is sufficient for 12 days in space so it is possible to work this fuel cell is possible to work for 12 days in space and it, its weight is only 250 kg okay and its uh, weight is only 250 kgs and it is possible to work for 12 days in space okay and the byproduct is water and it is a valuable source of fresh water for the astronauts because the astronauts they are also in need of fresh water and the byproduct water which is produced here in the fuel cell is used as a valuable uh, source of uh, uh, fresh water okay uh, by the astronauts right and now we shall see the advantages of this hydrogen oxygen uh, fuel cell see what us see what are the different types of advantages uh, we are having in this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell actually it is a pollution free see this type of hydrogen oxygen uh, fuel cells will not produce any uh, hazardous things so it is a uh, pollution free okay and the next one is uh, these uh, fuel cells are very efficient 
see ok so uh, it, uh, it is pollution free they are very efficient uh, in producing the current ok and next one is it uh, produces drinking water as a, a byproduct that is one of the major advantage that we have seen in the applications ok and it can run quickly without making noise ok there will be no noise uh, produced ok it will be no noise produced ok and next one is it produces electric current directly from the reaction of a fuel and an oxidizer see here we are uh, uh, supplying the fuel and the oxidizer is it not so it will be continuously producing the electric current as far as we are supplying this hydrogen and our oxygen as the fuel and the uh, oxidizer so this is uh, though it is having many advantages it is also having some disadvantages advantage and let us see what are the disadvantages this this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell see here this electrodes are expensive and have short life okay they are very expensive but uh, obviously they, they are having very short life its lifespan is very short okay and the next disadvantage is the storage and handling of hydrogen gas is uh, very dangerous okay because this hydrogen gas it is corrosive in nature okay so it is not possible to have the storage container uh, to handle this hydrogen gas so storage and handling of hydrogen gas is dangerous okay well well fine students i hope you might have understood what i have taught today let me meet you with another important topic in my next session until then it's dr anita raj your chemistry mentor signing off from you thanks for watching